For me, it's got to be about 50 years ago. Did, no, I, did, no. I, did I hit the high point? Yeah. Okay. Fast. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm Doug Watkins. Carol's my wife. We've known Sherry for years and years and years. And I remember Dale um, down at the coast at their beach house down there. So lots of history. And uh, we'll go, we'll start with Keith here in this table right here. Um, I'm Keith, uh, Dale's my uncle. Uh, Doug guess I've known him all my life. Uh, <laughs> pretty good guy. Uh, we've had some good fishing and grabbing adventures and uh, yeah, love him to death. And Gladys too, you too Gladys, you're the sweetest thing. Um, anyway, I guess gotta tell one story, their wedding 50 years ago, um, I got so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think I I think I was 14, <laughs> and I, I I could never drink gin the rest of my life because of that night. <laughs> that gin, <laughs> anyway, it wasn't their fault. It was uh, another family member. But anyway, that's all I got. 
I'm Dana Holbert, Keith's sister, Dale and Gladys' niece, um, and I just remember lots of fun times with them coming to my mother's house and having uh, salmon dinners and crab and cleaning huckleberries, picking <laughs> the huckleberries, cleaning them, and having lots of um, wonderful food together and uh, always enjoyed their company. Um, I'm Terrell, and I'm the oldest niece, so I've <laughs> known him for a long time. I'm older than Dan, and um, I have some very special memories of my childhood, spending time with our grandparents, with Dan and Daryl and my sister Sue. And uh, so I've known him a long time, and I uh, have known Gladys for 50 years. <laughs> and uh, we've spent some wonderful times in Mexico and at Pacific City with our mother, and <laughs> Um, lots of uh, special memories of Gladys as well. She was she's a wonderful person, as we all know. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you. <laughs> I'm Ben Holbert from Pacific City. I'm Dale's sister, Verna's grandson, and I remember this time of year, uh, Dale bringing home lots of good fall chinook when they would come down to visit. Hi, I'm Sue. Whitman and um, I'm Dale's uh, niece and um, I live in Aloha, Oregon and lots of good memories and good times as kids with my special cousins and all of that and going to Mexico and Dale and Gladys were so gracious and took us all over the place so good times. because I tear up at beautiful things and this is a beautiful thing to have everyone here for Gladys and Dale. And Gladys is my grandma's beloved sister and my beloved pen pal. And I'm just really happy to be here. Um, Kathy is my mom um, and Gladys is niece. And I'm tearing up too. <laughs> um, I am uh, Dale and Gladys' niece and Gladys has known me since I was born. Uh, my mother, Maxine, and her were best friends their entire life, and um, they were just in Denver. We live in Lakewood, Colorado. Melissa lives in Lakewood also, and uh, they've been a very important part of our life, and we're happy to be here. Oh, there's a picture on the slideshow of Aunt Gladys in a, she looks like a million bucks as usual, <laughs> in a green silk jumpsuit that she wore at our wedding 46 years ago on Uncle Dale's birthday on October 7th. They were just married four years that day and uh, that at our wedding. And she's dancing with my brother Dan, who couldn't be here. So watch for that picture of her. She looks like a model. <laughs> uh, I'm Arn Baker. I'm uh, Grandpa Baker's grandson and uh, uh, brother to Katie and to Dana and uh, here from Washington, D.C. I moved out there 27 years ago, but I wouldn't miss today for anything. Good to see you, Grandma and Grandpa. Everybody else, too. Hi, I'm Norman. I'm Arn's partner. So, so that's how I know uh, Dale and Gladys, and actually they came out for my retirement party in Las Vegas, and they have a wonderful picture with the Michael Jackson tribute artist. On your own. Uh, my name's Tom Ogan. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Kelly. Thank you. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> Pretty short. We're going this way. We're going here. Right. That's it. Stand up. Yeah, I'm not shy. <laughs> my name's Kathy Rothenberger, and Gladys and Dale are part of my family, but I'm not related to them by blood. I think I've known them 20 plus years, I don't know exactly when, but it started with fishing with my dad. And there's a picture of my son when he was, I think four months old, fishing <laughs> with dad and my dad. So <laughs> there's a fishing DNA there. But, but more than that, Christmas and Thanksgivings together. So sharing good times and memories and they will continue. Well, you hit the table and you're going to get some information. <laughs> <laughs> I met your dad 
before I even knew there was a glass. He wandered around with his fishing gear and came back with fish. And sometimes he'd share and sometimes he'd smile, but he didn't always share and he didn't always smile. So you knew he'd had a bad day. And so I was having a real bad day and I needed help. I did something very illegal in Mexico and I didn't know how I was going to work it out, but Dale, I was told, knew exactly what to do. And so I snuck around and I caught him in the corner and I said, hey, would you come to my house? <laughs> what for, he said. I said, I need some help because I'm in trouble. And you know what? He never mentioned Gladys. <laughs> he never told me there was a class. Oh. And, and I was a widow woman, and I didn't know whether I should have him in my house or not, but I did. I had him come in there, and you know what he did? He fixed my TV. <laughs> <laughs> he knew everything about direct TV. He knew how to be dishonest and hook it up. And he, he knew exactly, and before I knew it, my TV was working like it should. And every time I needed my TV, of course, I had to push him in the corner and say, hey, you got a minute? But I soon found out that there was a Gladys, and so I stopped that nonsense. And I made, friend, <laughs> I made friends with Gladys, and we found out we had the birthdays very close together. So we shared birthday times together, we shared Easter times together, and we shared good times together. We read the same books, we liked the same things, and uh, she never came by the pool, <coughs> but she shared her life with me, and I was very fortunate. My name's Joyce Fry, and I lived at El Dauphine for 32 years, and I met Del and Gladys there. And they come to my home in San Francisco, so. <coughs> <laughs> um, my name is Bonnie Rothenberger, and I'm sitting with the L. Delphine group who know what really went on with Dale. <laughs> <laughs> now, as an addendum to Joyce's story, in the early days, I don't know if you were there, but there were some stewardesses that used to sunbathe in the buff on the roof. And then there was the TV guy who went on the road. <laughs> so you put it together. I'm not saying anything. I <laughs> anyway, um, of course, uh, if you lived at El Delphine <coughs> and you fished, you knew Dale. And he and my husband were big fishing buddies. We spent many holidays together, um, whether it was with twinkle lights on at Poncho's for Christmas Eve. Uh, they were in the neighborhood, and were, I was blessed to have them um, come to my husband's memorial in North Dakota. They showed up in twinkle lights, the same <laughs> twinkle lights. I don't know if they're still working. Anyway, um, what a beautiful gathering, family, friends, good times, and we wish you nothing but the best. <coughs> Thanks. Hi, my name is Chuck Regan, my wife Lil. We're from Welch, Minnesota. <laughs> we met Dale and Gladys about 20 years ago El Delphine, and uh, Dale has guided me through uh, a lot of uh, turmoil that we've had at uh, uh, El Delphine. And once he told me, he said, Chuck, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you some advice. He said, be friendly to everybody and don't become friends with anybody. <laughs> 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 and, I, and I always remember that, and I still don't know what it means. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, yeah, we've been very close to them, and we, and we love we love them very much. So, that's it. <coughs> my name's Ron Peabody. This is my wife, Pam, and we're from Puyallup, Washington, of course, there. And we were lucky enough when we got down into uh, El Delphine that we were next-door neighbors for all, for all the years that we have been down there. We've been, until they moved out, we've been neighbors. And and Dale and I, we did a lot of fishing, and so did with um, Stan. Stan. And Stan had a had a, a quad, and I bought it from him. And then we, uh, Dale and I, would be 
tootling around on the, up and down the, the water, uh, the ocean there, and then uh, doing some, a lot of fishing and had a great time. So. <laughs> Mina? Okay. I'm with him, Chuck Regan. I'm Lily <laughs> Regan. <laughs> and um, Dale and Gladys were, oh, no, I'll cry. Dale and Gladys were our first friends at El Dauphine. And they taught us the ropes, how to live at El Dauphine. And um, we love them very much. Dale also taught my husband how to make the best margaritas <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Good luck to you, Dale and Gladys. Love you. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, I'm oh. Did we miss somebody? Oh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, I know these two kind of broke the rule because we have come become really good friends with them and Gladys and Dale. Mm -hmm. So we were next door neighbors and uh, yes, Dale was the official TV man. Anybody <laughs> that had a TV problem at El Delphine went knocking on Dale's door. And uh, so we've had a lot of good times. They've come up and stayed at our house. In fact, they um, sold their last motor home to somebody that lived up in Gig Harbor, which is near our house. And I can remember the gal came over to our house to pick it up, and the four of us were out in the driveway waving goodbye to the last motor home. It was kind of a milestone because they'd been motor homing for so many years, and I, I got kind of teary eyed because I'm a motorhome, we're motorhome people too. But um, anyway, we've known them 18 years and we love them very, very much, and we're so glad we could come. So, God bless you and we love you. Uh, I'm Michael Rothenberger, Farquharson, part of this group of family from right here in Oregon. Uh, Let's see. I was probably pretty young when I first met you guys. <laughs> what, six years old? No, three months. Oh, three months. Okay, I, obviously I can't remember that, so. <laughs> A lot of diapers and changing and toilets by right then, but all the fun memories of you guys coming for Thanksgiving at my grandma's place in Mazatlan and enjoying jokes, food, fishing stories, adventures. It all meant a lot. Hope you have the best. I'm Winston, and I'm Michael's father, and I'm Kathy's husband. Um, we've not known Dale and Gladys for as, as long as we've been going down to Mazatlan, which is a long time now. Kathy's grandfather was actually the first person down in El Delphine, so I'm told. Um, and we briefly bought a condo there. Um, but when we got a new baby, we gave up and we lived around the world with my wife, who's a humanitarian worker. And we'd always hear stories of Dale and Gladys and what they were doing. Um, we, we hope you have such a great time, and thank you very much for today. <coughs> Hi, I'm Katie Baker. I'm being directed. <laughs> That's like okay. Um, I these wonderful humans are my grandparents through my dad, um, and they have, ooh, I thought I was gonna do okay. <clears throat> Dutifully um, and lovingly supported me through so many <laughs> adventures, whether that was here or abroad, and so many slightly crackpot ideas that it turned out I just needed a little bit of a push for, and um, the two of you guys have just been my absolute support network and you've been there for every graduation and every wild idea I had in between and um, I'm just so grateful to both of you and I'm just really happy I could be here today um, just to be a part of the room that you guys created so thank you <laughs> for everything. Okay. <laughs> <Sure>. oh, <darling>. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am Sherry. I am Dale and Gladys' daughter. I met him at the maternity ward in 1952. <laughs> <laughs> or no, 1951. I was lying. Oh, yeah, you were, because I was born in 52. <laughs> Darn it, I almost made it. Um, it's been an interesting ride for all of you. Know both of these people that it, they've just been there for me all the time for everything, and it's been. Dad would always find me a place to stay in Mazatlan if I could round up a ticket to get down there. I've slept on couches and different places that tip the generosity of Chuck and Lil using their gorgeous condo. And I don't know, it's just been, you know, here I am, there they are. Thank you, Thank you, All right, Oh, I'm Katie. Chad already introduced me. Um, I met Dylan, Dylan Gladys about almost five years ago, shortly after Chad and I started dating. And one of my fondest first memories was I got invited to um, Bloody Mary's and Bacon on a Sunday morning. <laughs> and I knew I was going to love you right from the get-go. That's, That's it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, <clears throat> I'm Sue, I'm Katie's mom, and I feel very blessed to have met um, these two wonderful people. I met them five years ago and my parents are gone, my grandparents are gone, and um, we just fit, we just fit like a glove, and they're wonderful. Um, I'm Dana, I am the oldest grandchild. Um, I'm late to the family by 52 years, but a um, little bit of backstory, I am Dan's daughter, and I received a ancestry gift from my children and my husband six years ago, and my first connection was Chad. I was on vacation when he sent me a message. <laughs> couldn't concentrate on my vacation the whole time. I'm going to lose my eyelashes. I couldn't concentrate on my vacation the whole time because I was so excited. I'd waited my whole life. Never did I think I was going to have this. Never. This is amazing. And I, know, I knew when you liked margaritas, I knew you were meant to be my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you, everybody. I'm Sarah uh, Campy, Michael and uh, Michael and Kathy's daughter. Great Aunt Gladys is my great aunt, um, mom's aunt. Um, I've, they've known me my whole life. And Uncle Dale and Aunt Gladys, I remember from the time I was like knee high the grasshopper, as my husband says. I could, uh, you guys would come and and um, drive your big motor home, and I always looked so forward to you guys parking in front of our place for. Sometimes a month at a time, it was awesome. And go into your big old motor home, and I was just like a little, I don't know, it, it just was a very fond memories of you guys coming out and visiting, and um, Aunt Gladys and Uncle Joe, you guys are always just so so positive and um, always have something good to say. So thank you for, for being a positive people in my life, and I love you very much. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. Nice. How about a, how about a round of applause? Wasn't that nice? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, you're the big guy, Otto. Otto. How you doing? <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah. Mm. Right, we're doing something else.